video we are going to talk about man whitney u test a non parametric alternative for independent samples t test we are going to discuss its concept its interpretation and its reporting the man whitney u test is the non parametric alternative to independent samples t test the test is used to test for differences between two independent groups on an ordinal or continuous measure now instead of comparing means of two groups as is the case in the t test or independent sample t test the man whitney u test actually compares medians it then evaluates whether the ranks for the two groups differ significantly as the scores are converted to ranks the actual distribution of the score does not matter so if your data is not normally distributed your dependent variable is not normally distributed and you want to evaluate its differences between two groups the alternative to independent samples t test is man whitney u test now similar to independent sample t test let's see what are different scenarios in which man whitney to u test can be utilized provided your data is not normally distributed the first example could be a company quality manager would like to know if there is a difference in service quality received by suppliers and customers a market researcher would like to investigate if there are differences in attention to social media between male and female an hr manager would like to investigate if the compensation offered to the two departments finance and hr is significantly different so that hr or so hr collected data from 10 personnel from each department now an educationist may would may like to know or to evaluate the difference in attract att attentiveness of male and female students now apart from being your data in non normal form or your data not normally distributed what if your data or your dependent variable is on ordinal scale you cannot use independent samples t test now in that particular case you will go for man whitney u test now for this particular session our example is that we want to see this is our problem to identify if there exists in preference for or there exists difference in preference for watching social media ads between male and female so our variable or our dependent variable is social preference so in order to run this test what you can do is go to analyze non parametric tests legacy dialog and two independent samples in this case our independent samples come from male and female respondents while we want to check the differences in social preference or social media preference between male and female so you click on this and our interest is social preference so that will be added to this test variable list and the grouping variable that we are interested in is gender now if we look here the gender is one for male and two for female so you have to identify your groups press continue man whitney u test is selected so what we do is we press okay for our results now here are our results as mentioned in this case you do not look into means what you look into is ranks based on the median values now this is the mean rank this is the sum of the ranks male there are 79 males and 73 female respondents a total of 152 respondents now is there a significant difference well no there is no significant difference in social preference between male and female respondents so social media preference is same between male and female respondents now how do we report these results what we can do is we can go to this template and see to evaluate the difference between male and female for preference to watch advertisement over social media was tested using man whitney u test the test revealed and in this case it was insignificant differences in the preference of males now what was the median for male and what was the median for female in order to take out the median score what you can do is you go to analyze comp 
appear means means and you want social preference for male and female so you add gender to your independent list and social preference to your dependent list now go to options and here you have to select median you can remove the rest of them if you want and press continue press ok and the median value for both male and female is 2 so we go back here and we write 2 for males now what is the n value for males the n value for male is 79 while for female it's 73 so male 79 female 73 while the median is 2 now it requires u statistics z and p value so what we can do is we can just copy this table so we do not have to move between windows and it goes here and what is the u value it's 2775.510 the z value is minus 439 sorry minus 0.439 the p value is equal to 0.661 now what is this r this is an important question that we are now going to answer going back and look at this slide now effect size let me enlarge it a bit and uh, let's hide them okay now effect size SPSS doesn't provide an effect size statistics but the value of Z that is reported in the output to be used to calculate an approximate value of R now what if or whether the difference between the groups we want to evaluate the effect size of the difference now in order to do this we've got the simple formula we've got z and we've got n now in this case the z value was 0.439 you do not need to put the minus sign and the n value was 132 now if you do this the effect size or the difference or the effect of difference is actually negligible because it's even less than one which actually amounts to small effect so this is how you can calculate the effect or if there is a significant difference whether its effect is sizable or not so in order to check for the effect size you can use this formula in this case the effect was 0 0.03 so what you can do is you can put it here in this case the difference of effect was negligible and what we can do is we can add hints h1 was not supported thank you very much